Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We've got uh, a new, new Mac OS coming out very soon in the next few weeks or next few months. I'm not sure exactly the date, but it's due to come out very soon. I wanted to do a video to pe prepare you guys for when the upgrade comes. What you need to make sure, um, what you need to make sure, um, what to do in, in prepare an upgrade. I've done four upgrades so far. Well, I've done it. I've nearly every upgrade for Mac. I mean, that must be four or five upgrades I've done, and I've always done it very much without doing a backup, literally install straight over it, and it always seems to be fine, works great, but that's not what you should, should do. You should be doing a backup. So we'll, we'll cover those things. So what's new in the Mac OS? So, um, well, first of all, what models are compatible with the new Mac OS? So we've got MacBook Air, mid-2012 um, or newer. You've got MacBook Pro, uh, mid-2012 or newer. And then you've got MacBook uh, early 2015 or newer that supports the new Mac OS. Mac Minis, um, late uh, 2012 models or newer, and obviously iMac uh, late uh, 2012 uh, or newer. So that should support my Mac, because my Mac's an iMac um, 2015. So yeah, so that supports the new one, good for that one. And obviously the Mac Pro 2017 definitely supports the new Mac OS. And then you also got Mac Pro, the little one that looks like a trash bin, late 2013 and mid 2010 and also mid-2012 models are compatible with the Mac OS, which is really cool. So that's out of the way with, so they're the ones that are all your models. So we'll play that back this video, pause in between to know what models, again, so I'm not repeating it, because it's a bit of a mouthful. So system software and hardware requirements by Mac. So very much like, if your system already has 16 gigs plus, plus RAM, don't have to worry about it. If you've got more than 50% uh, of your hard drive space, whether it's a one terabyte or two terabyte, or if you've got a 512 SSD installed, you've got 50% free. Again, you don't have to worry about this space. So, but here we go. OS uh, Mountain Lion 10.8 uh, or higher is supported of the upgrade. Four gig, but obviously preferred eight gigabyte of RAM. So again, if you've got anything up higher than that, don't worry about it. And in between 15 and 20 gigabytes of free space on your hard drive to do with Mac OS. Again, if you've got 50% of your hard drive, and it's a one terabyte, don't have to worry about it. You, it'll, it'll work fine. Um, I always work off an external drives and always work off my network drivers. So I always have at least 70% of my hard drive space free, so I haven't got a problem on that side. And you can always check out your hard drive by looking at the hard drive for storage uh, on your Mac, doing the um, Mac about, and then you can click on the storage side to see what free day space you got. Or if your Mac's um, hard drive is on, on the desktop, just right mouse click on it and click get more info. You'll find the details out from there, how much space you do have. And things you can do is clean stuff up, get rid of application you don't use, drop them in the trash bin, empty out um, the trash bin as well, check for old files you don't need anymore, just those sort of general things. House tidy up your file system if you don't think you have enough free space. But always do a backup to make sure. Then if you do a full backup and it's successful, you can always delete files that you've already got a backup of to, to do the uh, Mac OS upgrade. Simple and easy is that anyway. And then you can do a restore back afterwards once it's finished and completed. Really nice. I mean, the, the, the upgrade is always smooth for the Mac OS. They, they always have, never had an issue with it. But it's always lovely and smooth. So brilliant for, for that, for Mac for doing that. So again, back up your Mac. Uh, you, you can use it in the Time Machine or if you have other, uh, other third party backup tools, then also use those as well. Or just in general, do a cut and copy across. If you just know where your data is stored, drop it onto an external hard drive and you're sorted. Um, so that's it really for the guide. So there's not much to learn or know about doing the, the, the upgrade. Just um, follow this guide. Hope that's good. I will do a web page with these information on there for you as well. So if you didn't understand my accent or didn't understand because you're in a different foreign country, you can also go on the site and have a quick brief look. I will make it more visual appealing than actually doing lots of text and stuff like that. And I also will attach this video to it just in case you do want to play me back again. So yeah, so that's the upgrade for the new Mac OS. I'm not going to say what the name is called because I can't pronounce it sort of thing or get it right. I might be saying it wrong. I don't want people commenting and saying, you've got it wrong. I know I've got it wrong. <laughs> so I'll put the detailed description in below what the new Mac OS is called. So any questions on that, please comment below. Uh, like my videos, thumbs up. Don't, mind, don't like my videos, you know what to do, thumbs down. Any comments or suggestions or ideas for another come up on video, please put them in the description below. <coughs> and as always, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. That got it, got it in the right corner this time. And uh, see you on the next video. Got some more videos coming up very soon on Unraid. So stay tuned, stay patient. I'll get them out to you very soon.
Tschüss. Bye.